In this video, I will show you how to use the REST connector to get data from a backend. The REST component is the easiest approach for backend integration, and you should always consider if it fits your particular requirements. This approach should be considered when we need to access backend data and we have an available built-for-purpose API with a focused response. With this, I mean that an API call that returns hundreds of rows where we need to loop and perform some additional logic may not be the ideal use case. We should consider this approach for simple calls with simple response payloads where we do not require post-processing. Let's see how this works. You can find the API services under the settings menu. Here is where we configure the API and in this example, I will create a weather API service we provide the base endpoint and the methods it supports. For the authentication type, we have several options including basic authentication and OCI resource principle. This particular API is authenticated with an API key that is passed as a query parameter. Then we need to define the request parameters. These can be of type query or path. This API needs query parameters so we can pass a location and the units. Finally, we can test the configuration and save the response, which can later be used for mocking purposes. This skill provides a simple dialog that asks the user for a location. Then it displays an output message that acknowledges the user request. The missing part is the actual REST call to the backend and we can use the REST template which can be found under the service integration menu. In the palette, we can perform the required configurations. We start by choosing the desired API service and the method. Then we define the query parameters that we need. Since we want to pass a variable containing the location value to the parameter, we can use Apache free marker. We also need a variable to hold the rest response. We have the ability to define transitions based in failure or success to be able to properly manage the dialogue. For the success path, we add an output message with the temperature from the response. Finally, we run the same dialogue, and this time we get a real backend response with real-time data. This was just an example of how to configure and use an API in just few minutes. For more information, please ask our assistant RT. You can find the links in the description.